assalamu alaikum in this tutorial i am going to discuss about sampling techniques so there are multiple techniques through which we can draw the sample from the population sample is basically a sub part of target population the population that we have targeted that we want to work on that we want to study so there are multiple techniques through which we can draw sample and study in this video i am going to discuss all those techniques but these techniques are mainly categorized into two parts probability sampling and non probability sampling so first discuss what probability sampling and what non probability sampling are so probability sampling is based on randomization here each and every individual of the population has an equal chance to be the part of sample it is also known as random sampling on the other hand non probability sample does not rely on randomization here element of the population the member of the population does not have equal chances to be the part of the selected sample non random sampling technique is also known as non sorry non probability sampling technique is also known as non random sampling technique so one by one we will discuss techniques that are categorized under probability sampling and non probability sampling so let's discuss probability sampling types first so there are four main types of probability sampling simple random sample systematic random sample stratified random sample and cluster random sample so one by one we will elaborate what are these techniques all about so let's see first simple random sampling remember one thing that we are discussing the sub types of random sampling technique so make this thing in your mind that all the member of the population has an have an equal chances to be selected so as you can see here in sample ran, uh, simple random sampling every individual has an equal chances that they can be part of the sample but here we have no prior information about the target population so based on randomization ra randomly we go and select uh, people from the targeted population so here for example as you can see this picture there are 15 members so let's suppose in the population that in the population that we have targeted we have only 15 members and as i have no prior information and i am just using simple random sampling technique i am just going to select people from uh the population randomly so there are three rows from the first row i selected two people randomly from the second row i select one person randomly and from third row i selected two people randomly so if i'm using this type of technique it means i'm using simple random sampling technique and the one thing you must have that you don't have any prior information about that audience the targeted audience you can see another example here in the class of 50 student you have selected 20 students randomly so all the 50 students have equal chances that they can be they can be uh, used as a sample but we have selected only 20 students so the 20 is our sample okay so the next one is systematic random sampling here the selection is based on some method some system elements of sample are chosen at regular intervals of the population so let's see how we can use systematic random sampling except the first person of the um, like in the process of selecting systematic uh, using systematic random sampling the first person will be used not randomly right because we have no information so we use first person not randomly so as you can see here in this um, on on your screen 
we have 19 members in our population and all mem and all the members have assigned one number right so from 1 to 19 so here what we how we can use the systematic random sampling I have just selected third person from the population and now this person has not randomly selected right because I have no information I have selected one person and from that person I'm going to use some system and then by using those system I'm going to select my sample so now after third person I am going to skip three person and then select the person and that person will become my sample so again I skip three and select 11 then I skip three and then select 15 and so on so by skipping every uh, by skipping three person I select the fourth one and the fourth person will become my sample so this is the system I'm following if you are using this type of technique it means you're using systematic random sampling technique here also all the 19 members have equal chances that they can be part of the sample now the third one is a str stratified random sampling in a stratified random sampling uh, we have to divide all the population into subgroups based on some similarity so as you can see here uh, we have again we have 15 members some are wearing red shirts some are wearing yellow shirts some are wearing blue shirt so based on the similarity just see uh, just uh, suppose that based on the um, similarity like all the uh, all members who are just wearing red shirt they are just grouped in one uh, strata the other one those who are wearing blue shirt they have become one group and those who are wearing yellow they have become another group so they have some similarity right so uh, in this we call subgroup as a strata so here I have three stratum stratum one similarity is that they all are wearing red shirt a stratum two that they all are wearing blue shirt and a stratum three they all are wearing yellow shirt right so um, here in stratified random sampling first what we have to do we have to divide all the member of the population into subgroups based on some similarity and after that we pick some individual from each stratum so as you can see here in the stratum one I picked two member in the stratum two I picked two member and in the stratum one three I picked only one person so out of 15 I selected five member as my sample so this is stratified random sampling so here we must have some prior information about the population because based on some similarity we are making groups now the last technique of probability sampling is cluster random sampling this is also similar to stratified random sampling here also we have to divide entire population into some clusters based on some similarity so each cluster has uh, like all the individual must have some similarity but there is only one difference between cluster and stratified random sampling in cluster sampling we um, like divided all the population into some clusters as you can see there are five clusters but here out of five cluster we have selected all the we have selected three clusters unlike stratified random sampling we have not selected individuals from the clusters we have selected here we have to select the entire cluster so out of five clusters out of five groups I have selected only three groups and all the th three groups and the member of the three groups will become my sample so these are some techniques of random sampling let's see what are the different types of non-random sampling convenience sampling purposive sampling snowball sampling technique and quota sampling so first is convenience sampling this sampling is based on the availability of the respondents 
if you have large amount of sample if you want to collect large amount of sample you can go for convenient sampling technique for example if you want to collect data from students so you are going to collect data from students those students who are available to you right so here availability or availability of the respondent is very important as you can see uh, one example here researcher prefer this during the initial surveys usually because it is very quick and easy to deliver results so when you have to collect bulk amount of data you can go for it if you want to um, if you want to collect data from customers you can go and collect data from those customers who are available to you so uh, respondents those who are available to the respondents um, in this type of technique this type of technique is known as convenient sampling technique now the second type of non random sampling is purposive sample so in purposive sampling technique here it is based on some purpose some intention right only those elements will be selected from the population which suits the best purpose for the purpose of our study suppose um if we compare convenience and purposive if we are talking about convenience and if i want to collect data from customers so i can collect uh, data from any customers but here if i just um, select online customers for my study so here intentionally on purpose i am selecting online customers so here i'm in purposive sampling technique i cannot collect data from any sort of from any customers on purpose i have to go to only those customers who are using online services right so you can also uh, see one example here if you want to understand the thought process of the people who are interested in pursuing masters degree then the selection criteria would be are you interested for masters in so here in this example we are just trying to uh to uh, like by this example you can understand that you cannot directly go to any students and collect data you can only collect data from those students who are actually interested in pursuing masters degree so on purpose you have just confined your population and you have just specified it the third technique is snowball sampling technique it is also known as referral technique this technique is used in a situation where the population is rare and unknown for example you have to collect the data from ceo and the population is unknown for you and it is rare so what you will do you will first collect the data from um, first element of your of the population like first from first ceo and then you take help from that person and he will he or she will recommend you to other member right so he and she will refer you to the other member who can um who will fit the description of the sample you need it so it is a referral sampling technique the last technique is quota sampling it is based on some pre standards right it selects the representative sample from the population for example the population you are targeting in that uh, sort of population for example there is some pre standard there is a quota that f females are 45% and male are 55% so after collecting the data if you are following quota sampling so in your sample there must be 45% females and 55% male it should uh reflect the population right so these are all some techniques through which you can draw sample from your population thank you